Welcome to like the first pickup video portion of today's vlog. It's like jumping way ahead into time here. I got the scooter and everything. Life is totally different. So, uh, good morning, YouTube. It is Saturday morning. Saturday, right? Whatever day of the week it is. We're doing garage sales. My first time, really. I'm not a garage sale guy. I leave that to CJR and to uh, Team G Sale and them. So, uh, I tried a garage sale today. First time ever at a garage sale. I didn't want to like record it or anything because they're nice people. But I bought a bunch of stuff. I'm not sure what I got. It's very hard to think on my feet. Like when I'm wheeling and dealing, like I make an offer, but I'm so afraid of like, I don't know, lowballing people. I think I made a really high offer because they took it right away. Like when I watch uh, CJR and those guys make offers on people, and like I love them, but they're kind of lowball, I'm always like, wow, how could the stones to make that offer? So I don't know if I did a good job. Did I do a good job, hon? I have no clue. I don't know what this stuff is. I have no idea what I what I even got today. So uh, it is holiday Monday right now, and I'm the only one in line. Probably for a good reason, because they're not going to put anything out on the floor today. But we'll see. I got nothing else better to do today. Good morning, Thrift Dweller fans. It's Q Nate here from Thrift Dweller. Oh, the scooter. I was going to go look at a scooter today, but a lot of my family and stuff, the ones who would like take care of my vehicle, told me that I'm like jumping the gun and I should buy something that I really want and not just jump on the first one. So, Like I was going to go look at one today, but it had really high kilometers. <laughs> Good luck, buddy. Yes, okay. I woke up early for this. Let's just grab them now, and we'll look them up later. Okay, good morning, everyone. Sorry about the uh, lack of talking. So many people in line today. I was hoping today was the start of a new golden streak, but it's all, we'll see. Yeah, but they didn't restock anything yesterday. Okay, I'm gonna look at the clothing and I'll get back to you guys if I find anything good. Anyways, most of this is from the garage sale. But I bought these guys. I just thought they're vintage, they're older. I thought maybe I could resell them. Just because I got my scooter already. Uh, more on that to come. It was kind of nice to see some games on the shelf. A couple DS games. I just bought them all because the price was right on all of them. So like $1.99 for Puzzle Quest 2. Value for that's on the screen. What else did I get here? CSI. Deadly Intent. Look at that. Morpheus. And his twin brother Dorpheus. Lord of the Rings Conquest. I actually want to try this game for the DS. Complete. 20% off of everything is not bad at all. Two bucks. I wouldn't have grabbed it otherwise. Legend of the Guardians. Might be a fun play. We'll see. Is that good? Let me know in the comments below. Puzzle the Harvest Moon. I thought this was like the French version of the game. But no, that's legit. Harvest Moon game for the DS, three bucks. And the greatest game ever made, CSI Unsolved. Look at the, the tension between these two. Cut it with a knife. Complete inbox again. All right. The exciting part, what was in the garage sale stuff? That is the, uh, that is the question. I had, what did I see? I don't even know what I spent. I think I did really well though. The garage sale stuff. They wanted 30 bucks for this box. So just divide it up how you wish. They had the, uh, look at this nice little GBA here. Beautiful, oh, batteries. Please don't say you leaked. Yeah, clean. Oh, a little bit of acid. We can fix that. What game came with it? Oh, Winnie the Pooh. Look at that. A one, uh, GBA, beautiful. The screen's actually not that bad. I like this, the shell on here. I don't know what color that was. We still got to clean out the battery part. It wasn't too bad, I don't think. 
you can just pop those up and put in new contacts actually if you really wanted to and they're cheap enough so i might just do that i got all the tools to fix it came with a gamecube cable and a bunch of these hip gear gba game protectors that's funny so that's i got oh yeah she she gave this to me for like a buck obviously it's it's kind of scratched up and everything like that something wrong with the top screen on this one so i literally paid her a dollar for it and you all know that we've replaced this before stack of video games let's get the disc based games out of the way here geist game this is uh it kind of looks rough i got velvet assassin just because i don't own that yet added to the collection i guess they wanted a quarter for that ssx on tour for the gamecube i think this one came with the manual and time splitters Air apparent to Goldeneye, hey? Looks like it. What else did I get? Charger. <laughs> so, oh, I, I got these because it came with the box. Like You don't see the boxes often. This one came with all the inserts. Anyway, Super Monkey Ball Jr. Put this in a box protector. It'll look fantastic on the shelf. Hey Arnold, the movie. Came with the manual and everything. Complete in box. American Tale, Fifle Goes West. Oh, Fifle's Gold Rush. Sorry, I'm so used to the movie. And this one also is complete. We got Dora, Pirate Pig's Treasure. Complete and still factory sealed. It was 20 bucks. Jimmy Neutron's Jet Fusion, Boy Genius. I don't know. There you go. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Gates to Infinity. For the 3DS. That's not bad. For 50 bucks at a garage sale, it's really hard for me to wheel and deal on like on the fly. I hate feeling like I'm lowballing people. So garage sailing, I will dabble. I still think the thrift store is my jam. Anyways, on with the week. Oh, look what came in the mail. I'm gonna open this on a standalone video. Look at that. Woo! That's gonna be fun. <laughs> Good morning, all. It is windy, but a beautiful day in the house of Thrift Dweller. It is Wednesday. Wednesday morning, just before 9.30. Hopefully we're first in line and we find some good stuff at the thrift. Good day, good day. I just parked on the other side. Let's see if we woke up early for nothing. There's a big lineup today, so we gotta move quick here. Nothing. You know what, I'm gonna chance it. I'm gonna go take this route today. Wrestling toys. There's really nothing today of note. I got some wrestling toys. Is it? Why? Oh yeah, I gotta go back to work. What's up YouTube? It is Wednesday. So it's Friday. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, on vacation, you kind of lose track of the days. Um, yesterday may not have seemed great. You trying to get out of the video? <laughs> yesterday may not have seemed great, but my wife pulled clutch. She found some amazing stuff at a thrift store. So just to interrupt today's vlog, when I said my wife pulled clutch, she came through like in a big way. Before I get into these pickups, I know a lot of time has passed since I've really put up videos. I've been less frequent in the frequency of my videos. It's just, I'm doing a lot of stuff at home with my family. I, I don't know if anyone really cares or anything or anyone notices, but I've had comments from some friends who are like, yo, what happened to the daily vlogs? Just handling some stuff with my grandpa right now. Just to let you guys know, keep you guys updated. Also the change of the season really affecting my allergies here. It's fall time. The scooter is fantastic. I can't wait for you to get to that vlog. I still want to keep these chronological, but the scooter is like my favorite thing in the world right now. Really helping me appreciate life as odd as that sounds. I'm going to see a movie with Ian tomorrow, so that's going to be good. But this is what my wife found. I tend to ramble a lot. At Valley Village, the dirty Valley Village that I don't like to go to, $4.99 minus 20% off. Look at this vintage Mr. T. Look at that amazing right and you got 
uh, Kenner, Batman, and Superman. These alone are worth a pretty penny, I think. This is like my favorite toy. This is the earliest toy I remember having and like carrying with me everywhere. Uh, the Superman one, that's pretty cool. These were everywhere when I was a kid. Now it's funny to see how much they're worth. Look like at 95 Spider-Man, that's pretty cool. And these are just gonna be going back to the thrift store. So not bad for a $5 bag, I would say. Values are on the screen if I find any off of eBay. I already opened this one. It was $4. There's some Barbie stuff in it my daughter wanted, but I found a broken one in the past. Now I found a fully functioning one. Princess Piace. Look at this, $4.99. I think my wife, oh yeah, this had some other stuff in it. Look at my favorite villain from the original Turtles. The Rat King. And you got Toxic Crusader guy. Okay? Is it Toxic Crusader or Toxic Avenger? I don't know. Anyways. Well, there's a Hobgoblin in here. That may be early. I can't find any Maker's Mark on it, but maybe they belong together. We'll keep it anyways. My son wants this Power Ranger. But really, probably the best thing she found for $4.99. Minus 20. What is this? I think this is Sideswipe. Oh, it's so heavy, man. Yeah, Transformers. When Transformers were like quality and built to last, you know? But is there anything inside? A Pretender. Starscream, I think. When was this made? 1989. Oh, he's empty. I found one of these before at the thrift store. I didn't realize until Noah told me that inside there was actually some Transformers stuff. But still, the shell alone, I think, sells for like 20, 30 bucks. And I won't open it up for you, but a really nice condition. Goosebumps, Terror in the Graveyard game. I have one of these, but it's being held together with tape. This one is 100% complete, 100% uh, functioning, no tape. Anyways, that was what my wife found in clutch. Thank you very much to Mrs. Thrift Dweller. And let's see what we found in this Friday's vlog. Back to thrift store. <laughs> Hopefully we find something today. It is glorious today, every day that you're alive. That's suspicious. Yeah. Why is it just there? Anyways. They're all clothing hunters, so it's okay. <laughs> he didn't care yesterday. It's a sick skull. I wish that was a t-shirt actually. Attitude era. Sick find, sir. I think this is the t-shirt where it says um, Austin 316 in the back and just some little piece called in red in the back. That was, that was a good one. In the front. And then Morning. The lineup is kind of long today. I'm with my wife. Uh, have some new games. Eastman and Laird. There's a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh. Do we gamble today? Whew, if that's complete, that's a nice little come up. So I just ended up putting this back. Didn't even notice, put that on there. God damn. What else is in here? Fucking four bucks each? That's a deal, son. I don't even want to check if it's complete. Anything else here? What's this? Keys to the castle. Huh. That might be interesting, too. How much is this one? Four bucks again. It's another board game day, I think. 
All right, so there you have it. Thank you very much for joining me on today's uh, video. A week in the life of Thrift Dweller. I'm going to try to catch up on these vlogs so that way I can just, you know, do the more up-to-date ones sooner. Thank you very much for joining me. Um, let me know what you think about everything in the comments below. Let me know if you have any questions. And uh, yeah, take care of yourselves and each other. Hug a loved one. Uh, let them know you love them. Never know what tomorrow brings. Anyways, that's it from me, Nate. Peace. Thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves and each other.